2013 projectiles question 3b an inclined plane at an angle inverse tan 1 over 2 to the horizontal a particle is projected up this plane at an angle theta to the incline and we're asking this question for what value of theta we give a max range of this incline plane Anytime you see max range, we know we're going to be looking at differentiating the range with respect to theta, like we had in the 2016 question 3b. So go and have a look at that video maybe, and then try this question if you haven't already. We may as well start by looking at this inverse tan 1 over 2, call it A opposite over adjacent would leave a root 5 here so cos a is going to be 2 over root 5 and sin a is going to be 1 over root 5 so this will help me get my accelerations which you may as well get now my minus g coming straight down and then in the i direction having shifted i around to be parallel to the incline we're going to have my a in here i called it a tonight so we're going to be looking at going down this way minus g cos a which was 2 over root 5 minus g by 2 over root 5 and this one you can see is going to be minus g over root 5 minus g over root 5 my accelerations if you want to find the time, you want to find the time it takes to get to this point. We're looking at the displacement. If you set your x and y up your i and j in, in whatever direction, I'm using this one here, i and j. But you could have that as x and y. And the i and j would then be down the bottom. So the displacement in the j direction to be equal to zero i'm using my ut plus a half a t squared and my initial velocity of this was projected up the incline plane i should have put a u here so it's going to be u cos theta u cos theta times i plus u sine theta times j so i'm looking at my u sine theta times t and my acceleration in this direction is minus 2g over root 5 so minus 2g over root 5 and that's also going to have a, a 2 on the bottom this half and that's going to be by t squared and that will be equal to 0 so if we factor out my t those two is cancel we factor out my t i'm going to have u sine theta minus gt over root 5 is equal to 0 so this is my initial time equals 0 and the second part of it will be u sine theta is equal to gt over root 5 so root 5 u sine theta over g is going to be the time taken to hit the ground here now we need to look at the range in the i direction or the x if you set it up that way so the range in the i direction again is ut plus a half a t squared my initial i is u cos theta so u cos theta by time which is u sine theta root 5 u sine theta over g plus a half of the acceleration well we know it's going to be a minus so the acceleration let's double check in my i direction of my minus g over root 5 minus g over root 5 and there's going to be a 2 there as well the half part and that's by t squared and um, which is root 5 u sine theta over g to be squared so let's tidy this up we're going to have root 5 
u squared sine theta cos theta over g minus g over 2 root 5 by root 5 squared u squared sine squared theta over g squared the squared will cancel and um, we don't let me just see let me just tidy this up now root 5 u squared and add our trig identity here in a minute let's just tidy it up first don't rush it sine theta cos theta over g minus and here i'm going to have no g on top i'm going to have a 5 u squared sine squared theta over 2 root 5 g so we don't have a trig identity just for sine theta cos theta but we do have a trig identity for 2 sine theta cos theta and we can factor this out to get um what we want here and 2 sine theta cos theta is the sine of 2 theta so that's what we want to try and create on the left hand side here so to do that i'd have to factor out root 5 u squared over 2g and then if i multiply that by 2 sine theta cos theta you can see that the 2s will cancel leaving me with with what i had in the first place and the second one you know that 5 divided by root 5 is root 5 so that's the root 5 that we have at the beginning here so i have root 5 u squared root 5 u squared over 2g so that's just going to leave the sine squared inside the bracket so now i can change my i can keep my constant at the beginning we know we're going to differentiate this to get the max range so i'm going to end up with sine 2 theta which we know will become 2 cos 2 theta when we differentiate it minus sine squared theta so we differentiate this and let it equal zero so this is my range so the or d theta is equal to root 5 u squared over 2g by sine 2 theta differentiated just do it over here sine 2 theta goes to cos 2 theta by 2 so we're going to put the 2 in front 2 cos 2 theta and sine squared theta is sine theta to be squared so this is we imagine this is u squared and we differentiate this u squared we're going to get 2u times u and if u is equal to sine theta and we differentiate this is the differentiated u so if we differentiate this this is the du say we're going to get 2 sine theta cos theta which i think was the same as the 2016 one so that would be minus 2 sine theta cos theta and this would have to be equal to zero to get our max which means we can drop our constant because we know that to get a zero we're going to have to have the bracket being zero 2 cos 2 theta then would have to be equal to 2 sine theta cos theta my twos cancel i don't want to cancel my twos though because 2 sine theta cos two. 2 sine theta cos theta is uh, sine 2 theta so i want to keep that number in there so 2 cos 2 theta if i divide by cos 2 theta i'm going to get 2 is equal to which will become tan 2 theta sine over cos so tan 2 theta is equal to 2 and if i get the inverse tan of 2 i'm going to get an angle of 63.4 degrees so just divide by 2 to get theta which will be 31.7 degrees so a nice question on differentiation within these projectiles questions so practice this one and the 2016 one and if it comes up the year you do the exam you will smile to yourself broadly